Graphing circles. Um, looks like we have a center of negative 1, negative 3, and then we have a radius of r squared would be 1, so therefore r is 1. Just take the square root of whatever value that is. Um, so we are at negative 1, positive negative 3, and we have a radius of 1. So there we go. That's that guy. Likewise, over here, we got positive 2, and we're going to go up positive 1, but now we have a radius of 2 because that is the square root of 4, and all you can really do is just go up and down, right or left. Okay, you could actually grab a compass and just draw a circle, but why bother? Four points is usually sufficient. All right, now here's where it gets a little trickier because we do have to group these guys up. Now, for space, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put the x's next to each other. Uh, and I'm going to put the 19 over on the other side. And I'm going to put the y's next to each other. Okay. And then for this guy, I'm going to add a plus 1. Because remember, there is a formula that you just have to memorize, actually. Because uh, your goal is to create a perfect square tri trinomial. And you use it so much that um, you just kind of just remember what it does. So we're going to add plus 1 to that side. Then this guy we divide by 2, 2, add 4. You'll kind of notice that the same numbers keep popping up. Um, this ends up being 24, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check. 19 moves over there. 19, 20, is that right? You got an x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 24. All right. Um, just to make sure that it's not 25. 25 would be 5 exactly. So we're almost 5 with the square root of 24. Um, plus 1. He does become negative. Yeah, okay, I'm going to run with it. So um, square root of 25 is all, or 24 is almost tw uh, 5. So we're going to go over positive 1 um, here, and then we're going to go down 2. And then we're going to go almost 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and just a little. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and just a little. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but just a little off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but just a little. And there is our circle. Okay, I don't actually have the answer key in front of me, so there is actually no way for me to verify this. So um, uh, if you get something different, just let me know. Uh, x squared minus 2x. So notice that I'm grouping the y terms with the y's, the x's with the x's. We're going to move 23 over here. Um, normally we have a long big string for this but there's no reason why we can't break this up we're gonna add one for this guy uh, we're gonna add one for that there's our 25 so this guy's 25 and then this guy ends up being you know what this actually is kind of nice to like separate them um, I feel like it's a little bit less cluttered okay and I feel like that was a little quicker but um, we're going to go ahead and go to positive 1, positive 1. And then now we're going to full 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 6. From 1, we'll go up to 6. From this guy, we're going to go to negative 5. And this guy, we're going to go to negative 5. And that should produce a circle. And I just missed it. And there we go. Okay, so with that then, um, now let's go ahead and write the standard form. So here we have an x coordinate of negative 10 center of um, y coordinate 0 so there won't be any parentheses on the y coordinate but we do have a radius of 7 so the way that this would look is that we've got x plus 10 quantity squared plus y squared will equal 7 squared which is 49 okay so that's just a quick write okay now the center is good but I need an r value so if you remember the r is um if you have the area, the area is pi r squared. So if the area is 49 pi, okay, you can clearly see that r is 7. But that's okay. Uh, you're going to square 7 anyway. So you're going to have x minus 4 for that x coordinate. You're going to notice we always have plus. If we put a minus there, it would automatically become a hyperbola. Um, and then we're going to have y plus 10 squared equals, we're going to square that r for 49. And that's it. Okay, here we have another center, but here we have the circumference. And we said that the circumference equals 2 pi r 
So if that's 4 pi, you can see here it's all it takes for the r uh, to become, um, in 2 pi to become 4 pi, r equals 2. Okay, so we've got x minus 14 squared plus y minus 3 squared will equal 4. Okay, so now here we have points on a circle. Now this is where it's kind of a tricky because I need to know from the center to that point, okay, which is like around there somewhere, like what is that distance? Because that actually is my radius. So I will actually have to use the distance formula. The center, we're going to go ahead and call that x2, x, uh, y2, x1, y1. Um, we know that the distance is going to be square root of uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus uh, y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so that's going to be positive, positive. Um, that's going to be the square root of 49 plus, uh, it's going to be negative 7, 49. So uh, 49 is 2 times 49. And you can take that and get 7 radical 2. But since we're going to square it, because our formula calls for r being squared, we can actually just figure out what 49 times 2 is. 49 times 2 is 98, right? So that's 98. So we have x minus 4 squared plus y minus 8 squared. That comes from the center. And it's going to equal this guy squared. Now, if I'm taking the square root of 98, if I were to square it, it would just be 98. Okay? So that's all that you need for that. Um, go ahead and figure out what that number is because that is what's going to be squared over here. All right?